Whenever you're applying for a job and when you're sitting for an interview, there are multiple things that you take under consideration. The brand name, the profile offered, the pay package, etc. But when in the interview, the interviewer asks you, why do you want this job? Do you talk about all of these things or do you highlight something in specific? If you're interested in knowing the answer to this question, keep on watching. welcome or welcome back to the marketing empress let me start off by thanking you guys for the 250 subscribers but honestly i think that one came a little easy what we are going to do now next is that we will slightly increase the target to 280 directly for the next video in this series and let me also tell you the topic for the next video because that's one of the most dreadful questions that you have to answer during an interview that question is where do you see yourself in the next five years so if you're interested in knowing the answer to this question help me by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel by hitting the bell notification icon so that you get updated with all the future uploads help me get the 280 subscribers and i'll release that video asap now without further ado let's jump into the content of this particular video in this video, we we'll look at the following points. Number one, reason for this question being asked. Number two, steps to approach this question. Number three, common interview mistakes. And lastly, we we'll look at some sample answers. Let's start with the first one. What is the reason behind asking this question? Now, given that this is one of the most commonly asked questions the reason for asking this question has to be a very basic one as well and rightly so because it has to have something in regards to understanding what or how the candidate is the reason behind asking this question is very simple they need to know what's most important for you period that's all that they need to know with this question say for example you answer that I need this job or I want this job because I want to be associated with a strong brand name that your company holds. Now, there may not be anything wrong with this particular answer because of course everyone out there is looking to be associated with strong brand names. But if you stop your answer at just this, the interviewer might believe that you are someone who is more focused towards a brand name identity and maybe tomorrow if you get a better brand offer you might move all right so the interviewer needs to know what is most important for you this may not be a single thing they may be multiple things but you need to talk about it in the right way how is that right way or what is that right way let's find out next let's look at the steps to approach this question now there are three basic steps that you need to take into account while answering this particular question Step 1. Talk all the good things that you know about this particular company. Now, whatever company you are applying for, it may be in the news for something good, it may be in the news for something bad. Of course, in an interview, you need to talk about everything that is good about the company. And you are not just pointing out things that are good about the company, you are also talking about why you consider those things really good. Say for example, the company has recently introduced a new policy in their working style. Say, uh, you know, they have a free ride for women after a particular time slot if they are working that late in the night. Something like that. It could be something really very basic. It could be something very elaborate. Talk about why you think that's a great thing that they have. Second, align your own skills with the experience required for this job role. What do I mean by this? What I mean by this is that if you have a particular skill or if you have a particular expertise, talk about how that expertise will be utilized the best when this particular job or this interviewer hires you. Now, why is this important is because tomorrow when the person is actually taking you on board, he or she needs to know what do you bring to the table, right? So talking about your skills and aligning it with the company is going to be a great reason on why do you want this job. Third and the most important one, try and link this particular job to your career trajectory. 
What I mean by a career trajectory is that everyone needs to have a certain goal in mind. And let me pause here and say it's completely okay if you don't have one at this point of time. But in an ideal situation, even if you don't have a goal in mind, it should not be communicated to your interviewer. To the interviewer, it should always come across as you are someone who is very well, um, you know, plan, planning things and have planned things so far uh, very well in your career, right? So you need to come across as someone who is very determined on ensuring that their career is successful. And a crucial element to make their career successful is the inclusion of this job. So try and link your answer to this particular point as well, that if I get this job, it's going to help me in my futuristic career trajectory. Now let's look at some interview mistakes that you need to avoid. Now that I've spoken about the things that you need to focus on while answering this question, there are obvious things that you need to ignore or neglect while answering this question. And I know a lot of videos out there on YouTube do not really take this into consideration. But guys, I think this is the most important part. What should you avoid or what are the common mistakes that you need to take into consideration while answering this question? Now, being honest in an interview really helps because honesty is something you can have a continuation with. You start an interview with a lie and you may not be able to continue that lie towards the end. God forbid, if you are caught in between and the interviewer understands that you've lied about something, it's going to affect your performance very negatively. So honesty always works. But to what extent can you be honest? If at all you answer in this question and do not truly really think that aisa hota nahi hai, kyunki ye ho chuka hai, bahut sari candidates ke saath, so ensure that you aren't answering something like this. If you end up being really, really very honest and just tell them that at this point of time in my career, I am okay with any job that comes through. This one came through, I'm applying and I'm sitting right in front of you. Guys, this is not going to work for you. There is absolutely no way that the interviewer is going to be happy about this answer. Yeah, he will, he or she will appreciate your honesty, but that's about it. They're not going to be okay with the fact that you've just landed up in this interview because you needed a job. Second answer or second mistake that you need to avoid is money is important to me. This is the highest paying job on campus. I am sitting here for the interview. Nope. Of course, money is important. And of course, this may be a high paying job. They may, it may be a highest paying job on your campus. But can you talk about that? No. When you are getting interviewed, the focus always has to be around what kind of learnings are you deriving? What is the company benefiting all of those things taken into consideration while money of course is going to be very important but you're not going to talk about it so these are the two common mistakes that you need to avoid while answering this question lastly let's look at some sample answers now since i've told you the correct way of approaching this question and i've also given you common mistakes that you need to be careful of or avoid in your answer I am also going to give you certain sample answers that have worked for multiple candidates in the past. These are researched answers and I do not really recommend you to just copy paste this answer in your uh, particular interview. The more personalized, the more customized your answer is, the more benefit it will bring to you. So do not just copy paste, but you can still get an idea. Let's start with the first sample answer. I want this job because I want to be associated with your organization. Over the years, I've seen that your organization has a very ambitious track record. I've been an ambitious person all my life. This is a clear link to your organization. So I think I'll be the right fit into this particular workplace. Very simple to the point, but communicates how you as a person is the direct fit for this particular job. Sample answer two. I believe that my expertise over the years, my experience over the year, my skills or qualities that I've built over the years are a perfect match to your organization and this particular job. At this point, you can add in a personal recommendation or a personal point coming in. For example, in my past job, I used to handle multiple people across various areas. I used to deal with vendors. I used to deal with clients. I used to deal with my internal, uh, internal departments as well. 
This has given me a clear understanding of how my communication needs to be altered based on the requirements or based on the people I'm interacting with. This particular skill is of utmost importance when it comes to the job that's been offered for your company. And hence, I think this particular job is going to help me further build on my skills. And hence, I want this job. Now, what have I done here? I have included something which is very direct, something which is very personal, something that another candidate cannot talk about because I'm linking my past experience to the expertise that they require at their job, right? So that's a very brilliant way of answering this question. Third, now this answer is more so relatable if it's a company which is selling a particular product that you've been using. So you can say, for example, if it's a Hindustan Unilever interview and you've been a Dove user all your life, talk about it in this way. I am very fascinated with the product range that your company offers. I've been a user of Dove myself and I know that it's really helped consumers like me over the years. I know the right way of treating myself as a consumer as well as a marketer because I think that expertise is extremely crucial for the job role and I believe that I can bring in the right knowledge and the right skill set to ace this particular job. Hence, I want this job because I feel that I'm the right candidate who can look into the product from a consumer's lens as well as a marketer's lens. Brilliant answer guys. You're talking about their product, you're complementing their product and you're also trying to say that why do you think this particular product is better than the others in the market? How? Because you have a consumer's lens as well as a marketer's lens. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something out of it. I truly enjoyed working on the script, working on the shooting of this particular video. I think it's going to help a lot of you guys out there. So we've already reached a 250 subscriber milestone. The next one is at 280. Before you leave, ensure that you like, share and subscribe to the channel by hitting the bell notification icon so that the next time around we upload another video in this series, you guys are notified first. Until next time, bye-bye.